Hello and welcome to this Collier Picard Maximizer tutorial on how to export email template from BPro and put it into Maximizer's Campaign Manager. Here we have an email, nice and simple, already built in BPro. It is already saved. To export it, we just go to this screen here, export, and you are faced with a couple of options. If you use MailChimp, HubSpot, anything like that, you can send it straight there. Uh, however, for this, I'm just going to copy the HTML, download it as an HTML file. It appears in your downloads. And from there, all we need to do is upload it into our campaign manager. So when you go on to Maximizer, typically you'll be faced with a screen like this. It could be your workday or it could be your dashboards. We will then go along this bar here and you will find campaigns, open up the campaigns, nice and simply edit, add automated campaign. So we will date it first with today's date. This just helps whenever you're sorting through your emails. I will then name it Maximizer B Pro Tutorial. So for template, this is where we will actually add the email to the campaign. We will click new, OK, add, and you have an option to start with a new blank template or duplicate an existing one. Duplicating is very simple. If you already have a campaign that you've used previously, but you just want to make a few changes, you can duplicate and work through that. That way half your work is already done. However, for this case, we will start with a new blank template and we will name it the same as before. You can give a description if you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will leave that blank. Click OK. Here it is, your template. Click Next. Here's where we add the email. So same as before, I'm going to name it the same naming. Description, leaving that blank as before. Email subject can be whatever you want. Let's just call it Draft 1. Email type, in this system we don't have any types built up, but if you have multiple different email types that you have people to subscribe for, say product announcements, service announcements, etc., you can set this particular type there. If someone only subscribes to product announcements, but this is a service email, they will not receive those emails. Then we have the delay, if you want to delay it, we do not. And the time, which we set as all zeros so that for running tests, it will send out as soon as we press send. Before we get to adding the body of the email, firstly, typically you should log all successful and unsuccessful activities so that you can look back at it and see anything that may have happened. We select more, select existing message, import. Once you've pressed import, you will find the file within your explorer then upload the HTML file, it will appear as so. Click OK, and here it is. Click OK again, and here we have the email now uploaded. Next, you want to set up the sender and the reply names. So let's just have this as sales at colliapicard.co.uk, sender's name, Collier Picard, and the same below. If you have any attachments that you want to include in the email, you can put them here. And if you want to track any of the landing page URLs you have in your email, you can put them here. So we press OK. Here we have the email there. Launch a new campaign based on this template. Have all the options here for that specific campaign. Press Next. You have a favorites list that you can go from. Save search. We typically recommend that you send to a save search. This means that anyone marked as leads created this quarter you can send an email to all of those people or if you have people specifically marked as receiving product announcements you can send it to those people next we'll click finish the email will save and here it is here we typically recommend that you set up two email campaigns one being a test campaign and the second being the main campaign. With a test campaign, you would not have it sent to any lists. Uh, and then once the campaign is created, you can click on it 
and there is an option here to test the email. You can add any from anything from the address book, like here, click the last name or search by company, and then you click run test when something is in there. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us. Thank you very much.